What is going on? I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. Um, I wanted to do this video just because in the last one, I didn't get to detail uh, or go into detail about just how much God actually moved in that whole six month process and before then and, and my life and my wife's life. Now granted, I'm not gonna tell her personal information, but uh, just I just didn't get to go into detail with that. So I wanna do that with this video. So. Uh, I'm gonna take my maybe maybe 10 to 15 minutes at the most to just go into that real quick so um, if you care to hear about that stay tuned um, so the, the whole six month period that I talked about in the last video um, there was stuff going on before that six month period so real quick I'm gonna dive into that so for uh, uh, for a year I was working at a, a certain job site uh, I worked for a labor union so they send you to different job sites and whatnot like that um, and so for about a year I was working for a specific job site that was predominantly with the exception of one person um, Republican uh, I know I, I don't have any issues with people who have Republican views no issues with people who have Democratic views whatsoever none um, what I have an issue with is when you try to force your beliefs and opinions on me. I'm just not cool with that. This job site was predominantly Republican and they were like diehard Republicans. Um, and a lot of them were trying to convince me to join the dark side, if you will. Um, it's just they made it seem like the dark side. So it was just, it was kind of funny, but it was just like off putting at the same time. So. Um, there was there was one I, so I have two forms on the site and I was working alongside three clerks um, and so it, it was it was real interesting because in, in this period of my life or in this time of my life I was going through some uh, going through some stuff with some ex friends and and just dealing with the trauma and the feeling of you know what the fudge um, behind all of that so dealing with that. And then dealing with what I was going through on a job site was a very interesting mix, to say the least. And so uh, I forget how it all started, but one day I went home to my wife, and it was just I had had I I had enough at that point of all the political talk and stuff like that. And so it, if you know me well enough, I, I'm not into politics at all. Um, I, I can't stand politics. It, it's just it's just a mess. And so I'm going home to my wife. And I'm like, yo, you would believe this. They're saying this. They're saying this. And they just really don't care. And then, you know, they want to turn around and pretend to be Christian and this is and this and talk about, you know, and manipulate the scripture pretty much. And so um, she would, you know, she would, you know, encourage me and, you know, uplift me. And it's just the way the way my wife is. I love my wife. Baby, if you watch this, I love you. You're amazing. Um but she she would encourage me. She would you know uh, uh, give me advice and so on and so forth about how to deal with certain situations, and so excuse me. So it was it was very interesting because at that uh, uh, the same the same night I went into uh, went into the bedroom in my second bedroom to to pray so I pray and meditate. I went in there to pray and meditate, and so God told me I want you to start responding. Uh, I want you to start, in a sense, responding with what you know is right. And so the very next day, I didn't expect or anticipate God to be, you know, saying what he was saying as soon. Uh, but some, one of the clerks started saying something, just some asinine stuff. And so it was funny because real loud and clear it heard. So you just going to let him say that. And it was like it, God was saying, you, you just you just not going to respond. You just you just going to sit there and, and just not respond. All right, cool. <laughs> so I was like, well, all right. So in, in as, as calm and as coarsely as I could, I started asking questions and then giving my own opinion. And so it was funny because then I started getting called a Democrat and a liberal and whatnot like that. And I was just like, wow. So because I care about people, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a liberal. Interesting. So when I tell you they were diehard Republicans, they are diehard Republicans. So that went on for a couple of months, just just dialogue back and forth, them getting frustrated, me being frustrated, them getting frustrated. So it just went back and forth. And so it got to a point where 
the, the, the test started to be so much. Like, God was just help, trying to help me understand and, and help me to grow. And so the test got to a point where it was so much that even the foreman I was cool with started jumping down my throat for absolutely no reason. And so they were laying, they, they, the layoffs were ridiculous. So they would lay me off for like a week or two, bring me back a week, lay me off for a week or two, bring me back a week, whatever the case. And so they did that like four times. And like on the fifth time, it was a Monday. And I was like, you know what? I really just don't even want to be here. So I prayed about it. And uh, God was like, it's fixed to be time. It's not time yet, but it's fixed to be time. And so um, it, I remember it was a Thursday and I was like, God, you, you said it's not time yet. Is it, is it time yet? Can I quit this job today? And all I heard was, go for it. I was like, gangster. So I texted my wife and um, she was like, yeah, go for it. I was like, all right, cool. So I talked before they day. Today's my last day. I'm done. That's it. So, um, so I quit that job and then I started working off the board from there. So after that, I was working at uh, another job site where my uncle was at and some growth happened at that job site, but not a, not a, you know, not a significant amount to where it's, you know, talking worthy, if you will. Um, but because of how he was treating me, I stopped working there too. And I went to another job site. And then at this job site is where a vast majority of the growth happened, like a vast majority of the growth happened. So at this job site, not only did I learn to control my emotions, but I also learned to control and, and, and gauge my responses um, towards other people when you know they would, they would respond to me sideways. I would control my emotions and respond in, in a different way than I normally would. And then another another aspect of how I growed, uh, or how you know how the growth process was going. And so another aspect of, of the growth was me as a or or, or my faith rather, <clears throat> was the whole deconstruction of my faith happened over about a, over that whole year period at the other job site and continued to happen at the second at the second job site, and then started to slowly but surely get rebuilt at the third job site. And so at this point, um, the tests started to be more frequent and addressed not only uh, the, my, my, my deep flaws, but the, the deep flaws within the indoctrination of my faith. And so uh, rebuilding all of that was a fairly interesting process, especially when you start to take a step back and not look at the Bible in a selfish fashion. Um, I'll have to describe what I mean with that later on, just cause it's a whole nother thing in itself. Um, so anyways, really praying and, and, and earnestly, earnestly seeking God and trying to figure out exactly in church, you know, they, they talk about let's dive deeper and really find out who God is. And then you don't, at least in my experience, it's like a two week thing or a week long thing, a sermon or something, and you don't actually grow significantly. And so it's just like, it, it, to me, it seems like a bunch of indoctrination. Now, that's not to say that every church is like that, but from my experience, the churches that I've attended personally have been like that. Um, and that's, that's part of the reason why I, I don't go to church now is it's just there's too much bull crap. And not enough actual pastors and people that care about people uh, enough to put politics and the BS aside to have and develop as people and develop emotionally and develop mentally and mature in God and, and grow in that relationship. So it's just not for me. Um, that's not to say it won't ever be, but as for right now, it's just not for me. So that whole... Uh, growth process for the third job site was a it was a very interesting one not only because it, it tested the areas where God was trying to have me grow but just because the growth was so significant in a short period of time so man when I, when I tell you God is just like it, it just it is gangster in a mug it is it just the way he does things is just crazy cool um Never in my life have I ever believed or had as much faith as I do now. And so just to see what where God can or where God took me from to where he's brought me to is just it's it's wild. 
So if you got something that you got going on that you're trying to work through or trying to understand, um, be patient. Because not only did the growth process take a whole lot of time, not only just that six month time, but the whole year time as well with the deconstruction and whatnot, uh, but getting a house took time as well. And so if you're not patient and if you're not faithful, the odds of God being able to or being willing to still come through decrease drastically. Now that's not to say if God says he's going to do something for you that, he, that you know because you're you know doubting or whatever that he's not going to come through because that's not the case. Um, but you have to be faithful and be patient and not not get fearful. Being afraid along the way is okay as part of being human. Doubting along the way um, it's okay. It's part of being human as well. But staying in those, staying in that fear, staying in that doubt is not a good spot to be in just because that opens the door for more things. And the more you allow other outside influences to come in on things that God has already promised you, the more room for error there is. And so you want to eliminate every distraction, every aspect that could be an error uh, as much as possible. Um, now that's not to say you're not going to fall short and things of that nature. That's just, that's a part of being human. Anybody that tells you you have to be perfect is lying to your face. You do not have to be perfect. Um, the, the goal is to be like Jesus, not to be Jesus. The goal is to resemble and reflect God, not be God, right? So being human uh, that's, that's a whole part of, or making mistakes is a part of being human. That's not, again, that's not to say make mistakes on purpose or, or sin on purpose, but when you fall short, don't be like, man, no, I gotta, no, I gotta, you know, get back up. No, just get back up and keep going. Like you don't have to stop. That's, it's, it, it's your choice to stay down and to stop. It's also your choice to say, you know what? Yeah, I messed up. It's all good. Let me get back up. You know, I might have I might have took my anger out on somebody, you know, today. But you know what? Let me turn around and flip that. You know, make that a good thing later on. Uh, let, let me let me go back and apologize. Whatever the case may be, but you have the ability to determine how long you're down and and how you respond. And so, with that, uh, and and how you respond. So. Um, you have the ability to determine uh, how, how you respond and when you respond and the ability to determine what you let get to you and what you let not or what, what you don't allow to get to you. And so, man, with that, um, before I end this, I just want to encourage you, man, if you got anything going on um, and, and you need some prayer or whatever, hit me up. Uh, I, 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 it's not hard to message me on Facebook or leave a comment or whatever the case may be. If you, if you, you know, follow, follow the link from Facebook or you're seeing this on Instagram or whatever the case may be, any, any social media that I'm posting this on, uh, if you need some prayer or some encouragement, hit me up and, uh, I'll do what I can to pray for you and encourage you. Um, and if you're going through something and you just, you just, you need some guidance and hopefully this, this helps you. Um, Man, life can be a pain in the butt sometimes, uh, but you can drastically change how much of a pain in the butt it is by how you, number one, look at it, but also how you approach it. And you get to determine that. You get to determine how you approach it, how you how you view it, and, and how you respond to what life throws at you. So bear that in mind the next time life decides to throw you lemons and or or apples or whatever the life decides to throw at you uh whether it be vegetables or fruit um <laughs> don't want to exclude anything um but but keep that in mind next time life does that to you because it's gonna happen one way or the other but ultimately you're in control so um hopefully you enjoyed this video if you haven't already like and subscribe i've got some spoken word coming for you um i've got a big announcement in about a month and a half to two months i'm gonna try to make that a month and a half um, just depends on uh, uh, how certain things are looking. Can't go into do too much details just yet. But um, I've got some crazy cool things in the works for you. This spot right here, all of this space right here will eventually be studio space. That'll just be my little gaming center. And obviously where you're at right now is the video
little where I'm recording. So eventually there's gonna be a computer behind me with speakers and studio equipment and whatnot. So um, I, I got I got some stuff coming for you. I got some stuff, some content coming. Uh, I, I really think you guys are gonna enjoy it. So it, again, if you're liking the videos, like and subscribe. And uh, with that being said, love you guys. Peace.